Well, very helpful information. So many of you are concerned about your health after that big plume of smoke hung around for days. So we went straight to Dr. Noreen Mayberry, an environmental toxicologist for answers. Scott wrote us from Pearland today, lost my voice over the last three days outside all day. Any chances it's from chemicals? Also having headaches and dizziness. Those are all symptoms that you find when you have um, uh, exposures to benzene, ex which is a carcinogen. Those are low level exposure. High level would be dizziness, fainting, CNS, confusion. But the low level is the hoarseness, losing voice, clogged nose, headaches, stinging eyes. A lot of people are reporting just all of that, and that makes sense, you know. So it may not be in the range that they're detecting at, but it's definitely in the air, and the levels are fluctuating because even like it shell. Now, Linda wants to know what many of us are curious about. What should I do if the plume was over my house? Aside from just limiting your amount of exposure indoors, like let's say you're wearing something and you've been outside a while, take that bag it, isolate it, put it in a bin, you know, or, or just wash it immediately. Same thing with your shoes. Don't bring that contamination into your house because then you're contaminating your indoor air quality. And and finally, Joel is asking, are the chemicals worse than the smoke we saw in the air or what we are not seeing? Just because the fire is out does not mean that what has been, you know, aerosolized into the air is not affecting us. At low levels, we don't see it. We don't smell it. We may not necessarily detect it based upon the, if we don't have the sensitive detectors to get benzene, toluene, ethylene, and xylene at these low levels, but we know what was burning. So that's why we have to do some confirmatory tests and we have to use the appropriate equipment to make sure that there aren't, you know, residual effects. And I know, like I said, this is going to be going on for a long time. So I'm still asking people instead of, you know, just saying, okay, I'm going to go run outside now to still be very careful and try to limit your, you know, outdoor exercise exposure for at least three to four more days. Certainly a lot to think about there. School districts.